Hello, I'm Miranda, and welcome to the newest Bit of Geek TV. This week, I'm going to talk to you about my favorite iPad apps, seeing as my mom just surprised me with a new iPad. Also, how amazing How I Met Your Mother is, even though I'm about seven years late to the game. Then I'm going to show off my most recent completed paper sculpt. Here's a hint, it rhymes with Rogoto, sort of. And then lastly, I'm going to close with a little montage from my recent vacation out in Joshua Tree. So let's get started. So my iPad pretty much fell directly into my lap and I had no idea what to do with this exciting new piece of hardware. I had seen people using them at conventions to run credit cards and play games, but that was pretty much it. So my first task, what to download for it? I mean, I had sort of seen stuff about paper by 53, and it looked really gorgeous, but I didn't want to really know that much about everything the iPad could do because I honestly didn't think I would ever own one. So I lust after something that I can't have. The first thing I wanted to do was find all of the applications that I really enjoy from my Android phone. And I immediately ran into a bump because apparently not all the Google applications are available for iOS. That was a really obnoxious bummer. Uh, but fortunately, well, I, I think I'm rambling a little bit. I'm supposed to be talking about my favorite iPad applications. So uh, I guess since we're on the vein of Google stuff, we'll just start right into my replacement Google Reader. <laughs> We're going to start with Flipboard. It's a really gorgeous magazine style Google Reader that can be synced not only with your existing Google Reader account, but also your Facebook and Twitter feeds in case you just don't want to go to the actual already free other apps for those things and find out what everyone's up to or not up to, as it were. Next, we're going to go ahead and go with Kingdom Rush. Uh, I played it at PAX Prime last year when it was in its pre-release beta stage, and it was pretty fun. But again, it was for the iPad, so I didn't want to think too much about it because I didn't think I was going to get one. And it was really fun for tower defense. I mean, really cute graphics. And I guess that's pretty much it. I'm not really a tower defense kind of person, but as far as this one goes, it's only $1.99, and a friend reminded me to get it. And uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. Past the time, I liked the graphics. That's all I really got there. And lastly, even though I only used Paper by 53 a few times, it's really fantastic. I love all the notebooks, the customizable covers, the easy to use interface. And uh, it's a free application, but it only comes with one pen to use. You have to pay to unlock all the different pens. But I'm not actually a traditional artist, and I really just want to use it to take notes. So I'm OK with it being free and only one pen. Now, it would have been way too easy to add Netflix to my list of favorite iPad apps so far, because it is. But that would have been cheap. But fortunately for everyone, it segues really well into my uh, next little bit here, which is how amazing How I Met Your Mother is. Um, I initially wasn't that keen on the premise of the show, this sort of reverse storytelling, but I found that it actually works incredibly well. Uh, the first couple of episodes, uh, the character Ted is showing flashbacks to him talking, or flash forwards? Anyway, if I'm talking to his kids about how he met his mother and it really seemed a little disjointed and like it would mess up the flow of the show. But fortunately for me, anyway, uh, they don't do it all that often and I find that it actually works really well with how they set things up. Initially, I had only ever seen two episodes of How I Met Your Mother, one from season five and one from season six. And without any of the characters' backstory, n no one seemed very funny. Um, but I'm really glad that I gave it a try because I spent the last week marathoning the first six seasons on Netflix. And uh, now I'm all caught up and I can't wait to watch season seven, which I believe just wrapped. So if you haven't seen How I Met Your Mother yet, you should go watch it. Moving away from the digital side of things, let's hop right into my most recent paper sculpt. I've been working hard on some new ideas, fishing around, trying to see what it is my heart really wants to create. And I landed on my neighbor Totoro. Totoro has been a 
staple of my heart for, God, that expression sounds really painful. Totoro has been a long time love of both myself and my sister. I saw it for the first time when I was eight and it became an instant classic in my household. My nephew also had a stint with it about two years ago. He's a good little kid. But anyway, I busted out my Art of Totoro book and uh, tried to put together a piece that I really felt represented just so many aspects of the show. And um, you know, it's my favorite piece to date. It's my fourth completed and framed paper sculpt and it's the one that I feel the most proud of. And I think it's just because it came from my heart. It came from a place that I really care about and I'm incredibly proud of it. <clears throat> and I'm excited to uh, debut it in its completed form here for you all to see. At the end of April, I spent a week in Joshua Tree with a gaggle of my friends. Joshua Tree is a desert national park about two to three hours east of Los Angeles. Now, based on my experience with the desert, I imagined it would be an ugly, unpleasant place to go camping. It wasn't ugly, but there were some seriously unpleasant aspects. For anyone out there thinking about camping in the desert, make sure you're a hardened camper, and if not, then bring something incredibly soft to sleep on. The desert is full of hard surfaces and sand, not supple, soft dirt like in the Pacific Northwest. And the sun. There is no relief from the sun in the desert. And I know that this is something that everyone knows, but it's not something you really know until you've experienced it. We're talking unrelenting heat and then shockingly cold nights. Nature is fascinating and weird. To even out all the heat and dirt and hard ground, there was a lot of wildlife, many cool shaped boulders, and even an oasis. Have you ever been on a desert oasis hike? They are pretty awesome. There will also be a moment, or two, or 10, where you think you're not gonna make it and you start to wonder how often the park sends rescue helicopters out over the trails. I should have asked them. So that's it for today. I hope I shared a wide, interesting range of topics because that was my goal and I think I managed to do it. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up below and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you're a Twitter person, you can follow me at a bit of geek. And if you have any favorite iPad apps you think I should know of, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I look forward to your iPad app suggestions.